manage that bump well. Just a wall scrape. Just a little bit of a wall scrape. Okay, okay, break the internet. Mention me and tell it freeze. I'm coming back, so be or be pretending like I never leave. I gotta eat, that's what they mean by check the feed. Like the gram, tell a friend to tell a friend to check for me. That's the tweet, block it out. Going live is like a genie. You know they say you made it big if your face is on the meme. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Car X Drift Racing Online on the Xbox One. I do have my Xbox Elite controller hooked up as well as my wheel, but today we're going to take a look at some tuning of this Corolla in the drift spec, see if we can't get it to handle better. So we do have the Corolla. So we did uh, adjust our ride height just a smidge. We're actually going to drop that back down. We did soften up the car or you know spring stiffness we did soften the spring up we did stiffen the shock and of course we added some more camber in the front as well as front track and increased our steering angle so we bumped them up 17s we increased our tire width to 235s and i think can we go 255s go 255s and now we'll go back down and we'll go 255s in the rear 235s in the front Drop that profile down a little bit. Eh, now we'll keep it beefy. And we increase the front track. So, with that there, we're going to quickly run into the test drive of this car. Trying to get this in the drift spec to handle way better. It did handle pretty amazing when I was on turbo spec. But the drift spec has a lot more power. We do have some cash, I believe, as well. So we might be buying another car. But for sake of testing purposes... See if that increase in uh, tire width gives me a little more traction. Oh, actually. So it does give me a lot more traction. Well, uh, a little bit more steering lock. A lot more traction for sure. It does handle quite, quite well now. Oh, I believe we were on 195s before on this car, so now we got some big beefy two, 255s in the rear. And a little more camber. Clutch kick it back that way. We're gonna have to maybe make some. Oh, other adjustments. But I think it's actually not too bad for throwing a first basic toot on this car. A little left foot brake there. Oh yeah. We got much more speed. We're able to hold it through that section. So I think we should actually uh, go run this and see if maybe, why am I grabbing my keyboard? Wrong controller, rip fail. And see if maybe we can grab first gold on that. So we're going to leave the car. Do you want to save changes? Yes. We're going to leave it how it sits. We're going to go run it again and see how this affects us in our scores. Because if you remember last episode, we were at like 4,200 in our drift race. We do got 40k though, so we are going to be buying another car. So, we are in drift spec, so our best is 57,000 in the drift spec. So our goal is to beat that 57,000, 5,700 here for today's episode with some mild tuning. I say mild because it was a quick throw a bunch of things on there. Don't know exactly what works yet, but this is uh, where we are at. Third and fourth, first initiation, much more grip. Clutch kick that. Oh, nope. Of course, we failed that a little bit. Kind of got lost in the sauce with the steering angle.
That was a, a little bit sketchy. I don't didn't think we were gonna make that. We could somewhat manage to uh, come out of that. I don't think we are doing as good as we were last time. Oh. That quick oscillation of the back kind of gets me and I think I need to uh, do some tweaking on the suspension a little bit more. I should have been in fourth. Oh. So we're gonna give that a, another try because I I think I know what I'm doing wrong. I think I'm just throwing the wheel a little bit too hard. It's very different on a wheel. If you guys want to see an episode on controller and see the difference, let me know it on the comment section down below if you guys want to see it on controller. To see the difference between how the car reacts on a wheel versus on a controller. It's gotta be much smoother on on the wheel transitions. Like there, use the brakes to help with transitions. The left foot brake action going on right now in this Corolla. Can't break to get that going. Slow transition there. Oh, I thought we were going to biff that wall. Car's a little bit bumpy. I think I need to uh, rework the suspension stiffness and stuff. Don't want to throw myself in that oscillation back and forth again. Oh, there it is. So close to beating our old score, though. We did beat our old score. We managed to jump. There we go. So the car handles so much better. A little uh, 540 at the end for style. The car handles so much better right now with just doing those modifications. So we were able to get just under silver. We probably could have gotten silver. So let's go back and change the suspension. I think I may have gone the wrong way. <laughs> with the actual suspension so we're gonna go back and change that up and see about tweaking this the dyno stand so I'm gonna wanna we're gonna go opposite direction we're gonna go opposite direction I'm pretty sure we should probably throw in some tow. Some uh, negative tow, actually. And then we will see how this goes. So let's go back. Yes, save changes. Back one more. We're going to do one more here, and then we might buy another car or another track because I know we have some cars unlocked now, and I believe one of them is one of my... Uh, S13 flippy headlights 240s, which you know we gotta have and build on this game. If you guys are enjoying Car Extra Fracer online on the Xbox One, let me know down in the comments. I think I'm finally starting to get the handle of the game on the wheel. Alright, that kinda helps. Oh, that doesn't help with that, though. I mean, that's a reverse entry. That should have counted. The toe actually does is definitely doing a bit of a change in the stiffness of the rear. It's definitely making transitions more manageable. Oh, but it makes those jumps very bumpy.
Oh, yep, I think we should have probably kept it the way we were at. Oh, nope. Close kick flick. We're gonna finish this off because I want to get more cash. Oh, boy. We kind of lost that. So we are gonna buy a new car if we can. The car I'm more comfortable driving in. Well, I wouldn't say more comfortable in, but the car that you would more likely see me driving in in other games. Manage that bump well. Just a wall scrape. Just a little bit of a wall scrape. Nothing super crazy. We managed to keep it though. All right, so let's go back to the main menu. Switch over to the controller here. If you guys want to see, like I said, controller versus wheel, let me know down in the comments. I will do it. But now it's time to buy a new car. We got 56 grand. Let's go to the garage. Let's go to catalog. Believe we can buy some tier two cars. We can, and there it is. The 180SX. We can't get into the Z's yet or the other S13. Man, where's the 14? The 14's all the way in class four. All right, well. We're gonna buy a class two, and it's gonna be the 180 with the flippies. Yes, buy. Can we? We can throw. Oh, we can throw the turbo kit on it. 210 horsepower stock. 313 with a turbo. 530. 614. All right. Well, let's go drive it stock first. And. Uh, See, see what we can do with the stock 240 on the parking lot A. We're going to get into some more tracks and stuff like that here in later episodes. But the new car, the 200 and some horsepower. We'll see what we can do on it. Hopefully, it'll be able to uh, keep a slide. Well, we're about to find out. Oh, boy. Stock angle 240. Oh, the body roll. Oh, and lack there of angle. Lack there of angle, kid. But I guess it's kind of holding its own. Oh, we need to throw. We need to throw some parts in a tune on this car. Oh, the body roll is severe in this car. Oh, just a wall tap. I'm just banging third gear. Oh yeah, this thing needs massive suspension modification. What? You know what? For a stock. 180SX, 240SX, S13, whatever you call it where you're from. It's definitely fun. So I think this will do it here for this episode here on Car Extra Racing Online, here on the Xbox One platform. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which you found in the description box below, and all of Car X's social media, which will be down there as well. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Uh, okay, okay, break the internet. Mention me and tell it freeze. I'm coming back, so BRB pretending like I never leave. I gotta eat, that's what they mean by check the feed. Like the gram, tell a friend to tell a friend to check for me. Check the tweet, block it out.